The following segment is sponsored by Oregon Charter Academy. Welcome back to AM Northwest. Does your child struggle to keep up in a traditional school setting, or perhaps they need more of a challenge? Here to share what makes Oregon Charter Academy unique, we welcome middle school science teacher Rachel Silverman, along with sixth grader Dante Stokey. Good to have you both with us. Let me start with you, Rachel, and describe Oregon Charter Academy for people who don't know. Sure, Oregon Charter Academy is a tuition-free uh, public online school it's um, it's actually been in Oregon for about 20 years wow. now so yeah. we are the oldest virtual school right in Oregon and we serve um, students from kindergarten all the way up to 12th grade and what makes it unique oh there are so many things but I think that the one of the things that stands out to me is the way that we can really see students as individuals mm -hmm. um, if any of my students in my class need one-on-one -on -one help they are easily able to have that time with me. Right. Um, they're free from distractions. They can really um, focus in on their learning right. and make that the priority. Um, it's a really safe place to go to school right. if you're you know going to school from your own home that's right. very you don't have to put up with gun drills that kind of stuff exactly yeah, all yes. of that the safety of it all the safety yeah I get that makes a lot of stuff Dante you went to a traditional school until second grade yes. right and then you started Oregon Charter Academy what did you notice was different what do you like about it what I like about Oregon Charter Academy is all the support I get from teachers. Yeah. If I have any questions I can ask them in live class on Zoom or I can send them an email and if I'm still wondering about it or I need a little extra help, I can schedule a one-on-one -on -one help session in Zoom, which is, I mean, that's harder to do in an online school. Right. Because there are so many students and it's probably a bit harder for the teachers. So do you feel fully supported by the teachers in Oregon Charter Academy? Yes, I yeah. do. And do you have an idea? You seem like such a sharp guy. Do you have an idea of what you would like to do in the future as an occupation? You don't have to. I still don't know what I'm going to do, <laughs> but you know, do you have an idea what you want to do? I've always been interested in being some kind of engineer, maybe yeah. a road engineer. I've also liked being in the kitchen, so maybe a chef or something. Oh, wow. Okay. So talk to me then about the programs that you offer, because you have a number of different programs. Oh, yes. We have um, many clubs and activities yeah. that students can be a part of. I believe Dante is part of some clubs multiple. at Orca. Yes, multiple, <laughs> um, which is fantastic. I had, I had not a doubt. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, we do field trips. We yeah. do both in-person field trips and online virtual field trips. Wow. Um, so we also have um, the AVID program, which is a really wonderful college preparedness program for our students. All right, tell me about your favorite classes that you have. And the, you said multiple uh, clubs. Tell me about yeah. them. So my favorite classes are math and humanities, which mm -hmm. is a mix of language arts and history. One of my favorite things to do in math is dividing fractions, which is really simple because you just flip the second fraction around, then multiply the numerator's top numbers and denominator's bottom numbers. Of course. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a pretty it's pretty simple handy, yeah. ti handy tip. Yeah, and then I did a really fun project last month in humanities. I made a board game based off of the book The Island of the Blue Dolphins by Scott O'Dell. Wow! And that was it was a good challenge. Yeah. 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 And do you get the do you get any social interaction? Yeah. So do you go on field trips? Yeah, you can go to field trips either virtual or in person. Right. Uh, I'm part of multiple clubs, including chess, gaming club which includes card games, video games, board games, and role-playing games, and Bacon Club, NASA Club, and even one or two others. Lots of clubs. Yeah. yeah. And also at the start and end of classes, we sometimes get social time where we can just talk and hang out. Sometimes a teacher plays a song. Oh, so, wow. So yeah, we do okay. get quite a bit of social time. And then, Rachel, what about kids who are into sports? Um, kids at Orca who are into sports can play sports through their local district. Oh, okay. They, yeah. they can still do that, even though... Yes, they have to do... I don't know the particulars of it, but right. they are able to um, do sports through their district. They also... Um, I have had many students in the past who are just really like an avid swimmer or really into right. gymnastics. Whatever the case may be, going to school online really provides them that flexibility. Yeah, absolutely. So they that can they get attend that. all their practices and all yes. of that, right? Exactly. Yeah. And if they have any events to go to out of state, they can wrap their schedule around yes. whatever works best for them. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it looks like, Dante, it looks like you're going to go far. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Congrats. We want to tell everyone if you'd like to find out more about Oregon Charter Academy, we'll put all the information on our website at katu.com. All right, we'll be right back.